Hello and uh, welcome to my channel. This is the first video on C programming. In this video, we will discuss about basic concepts like what is a program, which is very fundamental. And we'll also discuss about how to compile and link a C program, that is compilation and linking model of a C program. And we will also write our first C program that displays a message on our screen. So let's get started. So the basic question, what is a program? A program is a logically sequenced set of instructions that performs a particular task. So you can view a program as a unit and a program unit itself is made up of instructions. The instructions the program has would perform checks, would process data, would, would accept input, would display output and many more instructions we can have. Any program you write will take an input. If not, the program will assume some internal input and the program will generate some output. So that is how you should view a program as. If you are new to programming, this is a picture that you should carry with you. So where will I write my program? So obviously we'll write a program in a program file and Depending on which programming language I'm using to write my program, I'll create a appropriate program file. Different languages define different file extensions. Uh, like C program file extensions are .c, C++ program file extension is .cpp, and so on we have for .java for Java program file, and likewise we have for other programming languages. So, the basic thing again, if I write a program in my program file, can I execute my program directly on a machine? Is it possible? So the answer is no. Why? Because a machine is going to understand only binary and I'm not going to write my program in binary. I will be writing my program using a language which will be very much readable. So machine won't understand it. Then how will I execute my program on a machine? Very basic. So for that we need to understand the program compilation and linking model. So let's assume that we write a C program and we name the file as example.c and we submit our program to a tool, a utility called as compiler and that utility will analyze our program and will translate our code to something called as an object file or object code and what will happen is for example.c an object file will be generated called as example.obj then I can take that object file and submit to an another program called as linker and that linker program will generate the binary file that is an exe file that can be executed by machine Moving ahead, we'll dig down more and understand how compiler works, how linker works. And as we write program, we'll start getting some errors. We'll also identify what kind of a error it is. Is it compile time error? Is it linking error? And if it is a compiler error, is it a lexical error, syntax error, semantic error? We'll identify what kind of an error it is. At that point of time, I'll explain more about the compiler. Now, next. Let me write some code for you and then you can try the same program on your machines. So we'll write our first program. Uh, I'll be initially writing the code using notepad. I'll write my program in a notepad and I'll compile it over a command line so that you will understand the basic compilation and linking model. And once that is done, then later on, I'll write the same program in Visual Studio. When you understand how you can create a project in Visual Studio, add a file, write a program, compile it, link it and execute it in Visual Studio environment. So first thing I will write the code in uh, a notepad. So let me open a command prompt. So I'll just type in CMD. It will open a command prompt for me. And here I will go on D drive. And I will first create a directory called as learn C programming. So I'll say learn C programming is a directory I have now created. I'll 
go in that directory so right now if i see the contents of the directory if i just say start space dot it will open the explorer with that directory and you can see the directory is right now empty and what i'll do is i will just write a simple program file i'll create a program file with the help of notepad program so i'll say notepad example dot c okay and this will be my program file yeah and let's say we want this program to display a simple message on the screen as programming is fun. So let me start uh, to write. So I will explain you uh, moving ahead each and every statement. So let's say what uh, we want right now is we want our program to display a message. So I will use, I will write something called as printf. I will put some statement here. I will say, see programming is fun. Okay, let's say this is our message and I'll write return zero. Now, what we expect on the output is that, you know, this message should be displayed, but I have written some more statements around it. So we should understand one thing is that if you write any C program, which will be an executable moving ahead, it should have an entry point function. Now entry point function is a point in a program from where the execution of the program starts. So in C programming, the entry point function is main. If you go with other programming languages like C++, Java, C Sharp, all these programming languages also have an entry point function main. So in C it's pretty simple. You have to just write main empty brackets and followed by a block. So we need to understand that main is a function. Moving ahead, if you are not aware of what is a function, will get into more detailed syntax of the function but right now just understand that main is a entry point function and this execution of this program is going to start from this point and what we are saying is this entry point function when completes it's going to return an integer value and we are saying zero is an integer so this function is going to return zero now since this program is displaying some uh, string on the output so we are calling a function called as printf so if you are using a printf function you are calling a printf function then c says c programming says that if you are invoking any function you should tell about its declaration so i'm using term as declaration so i will moving ahead i'll explain you more about what is a declaration when i discuss more about functions but right now since i want a declaration and i'm saying that the function declaration of printf is present in a file called as stdio.h. So we are saying there is some header file called as stdio.h and that header file contains something called as declaration for a function and since this statement is a function call we require a declaration. So this program execution would be pretty simple like execution will start from main it will call a printf function it will pass the string to be printed the printf function will do the job of printing the message on the screen and the program will complete so i'll just save this file now if i view the directory if i say start dot you can see there is only one file in this folder now what i'll do is i'll try to compile my program so for compilation, I need a utility called as CL. So there is a program called as CL.exe and that program can help us to compile our code. But right now, if I just press CL.exe, if I press enter, it is saying that it is not able to understand what CL is. Okay. So CL is basically a compiler, okay, provided by Microsoft. And likewise, we can have other compilers also. There are open source compilers you can download. Uh, it will help you to compile your C program but right now the compiler I require is a CL compiler now where is it so on my machine CL compiler is there as I have already installed uh, Visual Studio on my machine so I'll show you the folder where it is installed so it is C drive apps folder I have that we have Visual Studio 2012 you can see this folder and in this folder we have a VC folder and in VC folder, you can see there is a batch file called as VC wars all dot bat. So this is a batch file and if I drag and drop this batch file on my command prompt, 
like this it will help me to set the path for cl.exe okay i'll just press enter here and uh, the path is set now again if i type cl and enter you can see that now it is able to understand what cl is so cl is a cc++ compiler and if i type in where cl so where is again a command in windows that will help me to locate cl.exe so if i say where cl if i hit enter so it will tell well cl is a exe which is present in bin folder so what we can do next is we can use this cl to compile our code so i'll clear the screen again i'll type in cl slash c is a option to the compiler which says okay only compile our code and i'll give the file name as example dot c so there are no errors right now so we can assume our program compilation was successful and now we can again see the contents of the directory and i can see that an object file is generated so our compilation is done now next thing what we will do is we'll try to generate a exe file so again i'll use a program called as link so again where i'll type in where link and it will tell me that link is also a program so what i'll do is i'll run link and i'll give the object file i'll input the object file to this and what it should do is it should if i say dir there was no linking error and i can see that exe file is been generated now since exe file is generated what we can do is we can run the exe file and we can see the output message in our case that c programming is fun so to summarize the topics that we have covered in this video is first thing we saw what is a program and a program file next we also understood the program compilation and linking model and last we saw uh, a c program that we wrote over a command line uh, using notepad and we compiled it and executed it so thank you for uh, watching this video and catch you in the next video